Selby Area CDC's target community stretches from the cathedral to the east all the way to Fairview Avenue to the west. Our northern boundary is University Avenue and our southern boundary is Summit. We do have a very broad area and we look to serve in, in a way that engages community, brings community together, and builds on some of the community assets that we have. Its mission is to provide leadership for community housing and economic development initiatives that engage our community in the activities that we are doing and we do it for the benefit of that community. We identified three strategic priorities for the organization. They included, again, community engagement, physical development, which would include housing and commercial development, and third, doing business development or business services to help retain, strengthen the, the businesses on Selby Avenue, and to build new businesses, new entrepreneurs. We are a model of a virtual incubator for small, we're dealing with mostly construction businesses. We'd started that concept because the land that we're trying to develop over here, we want to turn into a actual physical incubator. The CDC has helped in the last three years, probably over 300 businesses. We also have done physical development along uh, Selby Avenue. We also own land on Selby for development. We pull together the landowners in the area to identify what the land uses are and to start to examine what we wanted to see done in the future. Growing out of this effort became an idea that some of the assets of this community in particular were that this was part of the Rondo community, the historic African-American community here in St. Paul. We collaborate with our uh, area planning council. We collaborate with our sister fellow neighborhood development corporation, Aurora St. Anthony. We collaborate with culture brokers, moving these ideas of culturally centered development as a way of inspiring a independent, uh, self-sufficient community. We saw the need that both the private public sector had to get minority contractors and disadvantaged contractors into their system and the problem that the, the minority contractors and disadvantaged contractors had in being able to access a system that is fairly complicated. We put those things together. We created a program, ProBid, where it stands for profitable bidding that trains them and gets them accustomed to working with the public sector and also helps these businesses understand their business better. We see Selby Avenue, the Selby area, as the heart of St. Paul. It's a very diverse and exciting heart. It has many cultures combining to create one community. It has one of the newest and brightest community centers, Jimmy Lee Oxford. There's the spanking new Rondo Library and some of the better schools in our city, J.J. Hill, Webster, it is the home of Penumbra Theater. It has uh, transportation and future transportation. We have many of the best restaurants in St. Paul, east of Dale. Some of the wonderful boutique businesses in that area. We're looking to try and build some of that west of Dale as well, which needs the most help and probably is our concentration. The Selby Area CDC celebrates its community one of the main ways that we celebrate our community is through the Fall Jazz Fest. The Jazz Fest is an opportunity for businesses to come and have booths and sell their wares and let people know about the opportunities on Selby Avenue. Oh, oh, he keeps right on doing great things for me.